the Army, the military kind of teaches you like discipline, teaches you to be a, a leader, and obviously you got to be a team player. When you're with a certain group of guys every day and you're going through challenges together, I mean, obviously you're going to build bonds and rely on each other like your brothers. October 28th, 2009. It was uh, February uh, 22nd, I believe. Uh, 2007. June 5th, 2009. March 21st, 2009. It was a Saturday. Yeah, I'm bilateral above knee amputee. I got both my lanes got blown off pretty quick. It's kind of ironic was, was also this is what it feels like to be blown up. I became an amputee. I did have that point where I was like, what is going to happen to me? Am I going to be able to continue to serve? And I was like, well, I'm going to just sit here and feel sorry for myself. No. Oh, I was initially introduced by my mom who told me about it when I was in the hospital. I grew up playing hockey all my life and uh, after I got hurt, I realized I wouldn't be able to play hockey anymore until somebody told me about sled hockey. I used to play goalie. Uh, I went out there and I played and they were, they were pretty, pretty shocked at it. I was able to stop some pucks and stuff like for the first time. And, that, I, and I was hooked then, you know, and I knew I was going to come back for more. You know, you're out there and you're flying around and you're moving faster than you'll ever move in a wheelchair and, and uh, it's almost just a sense of freedom. It was the hardest sport I've ever tried uh, out of all the adaptive sports. And, but it was something special about bringing around other injured service members that, you know, again, we're all from different places, different backgrounds, but we can put all that to side and all chase this common goal. And there is nothing that you can't do. The word can't is just not in our vocabulary anymore. USA!